Hey guys, Brent Hull here, Fort Worth, Texas, Hull Homes, Hull Millwork. I'm going to talk to you today about double hung windows, okay? I think this is a window that gets a lot of bad flack, right? Uh, why? Well, because you find it in a house that's 200 years old and they're all rickety and they, they leak and they're, you know, whatever the problems are. But this is actually a very well designed, well made window that should last 100 years, right? We do a lot of window restoration. We restored and rebuilt the windows on this building. This is a 1921 building. Um, why do I say they last 100 years? Well, because we'll go to buildings where they're 100 years old and they're still in working, good operation, and with a little restoration, they're good for another 100 years. The, the, the keys, okay, that make these windows great is uh, the wood quality. Okay, wood quality in a historic wood window uh, is this virgin growth wood that's going to last 100 years. You know, it's really good quality stuff. Any new window we build, we use with Sapili so that it actually lasts 100 years just as long as those old growth woods do. But the thing I love about it from the sustainability aspect is that here you have an operating window, right, that can allow for air movement through your house. Um, you know, we've gotten to it in an age where, you know, uh, I'm, a, I'm a little bit warm. Uh, let's turn it to 68 instead of 69, right? Where we've, we've dialed in technology so much, we're relying on technology to make us comfortable in the house. Historically, they used a double hung window to open and close. Now, I'm going to take the, take the screen out. I'm going to show you how that works. Basically, the way a double hung window is designed, and I'll step around this side and show you, is that you have this counterbalance system, okay? What that means is, is that each of these sash, the upper and lower sash, are counterbalanced, okay? And so this window, that upper sash, is moving up and down based on this counterbalance system here, okay? And literally, when we build a window, we are weighing the sash with the glass in it. We get two weights and hang them on these pulleys, right, with this chain or rope. And that's how these windows are counterbalanced. So you'll see at your old house, you'll see this wide mutton, right, that, that separates the windows. You do that because you have a weight pocket, right? This is your, where your weights go. They go up and down. So even the lower window, which is weather stripped a little bit tighter, it too is counterbalanced. So it's a pretty cool system the way it works, right? It's, it's, it works. It doesn't rely on technology or you know, power, right, to, to operate your windows. And so... First of all, it's a good system. Now, realize that historically, these windows were a ventilation system that literally on the north side of your house, you would lower the upper sash, and on the south side of your house, you would, you would raise the, the lower sash, okay? What you would do is you're essentially creating convection air through your house. You're allowing the hot air to escape and the cool air to come in, right? So it's, a, it's the house breathes, right? They, they, they allowed for fresh air movement through your house because this system was really cool. There's books written about the ventilation system of double hung windows in historic houses. They wouldn't have said historic houses, it was, it was modern houses, but there was a whole process for how this works. Realize that in the late 1800s, 1890s, 18, turn of the century, that desire for fresh air, the shingle houses on the, on the west coast, east coast, all got built because people desired this kind of fresh air system. So I love it from that perspective, okay? Two, you, especially here in Texas, they're going to talk about um, insulating, okay? So uh, the energy value that these windows get is actually pretty awesome, okay? When we make, and we've had our windows great, uh, tested in, in a window testing lab, they grade to a, a grade 40 window, right? Which is a real high quality window. When they're weather stripped properly, when they're new, when they're when they're fitted properly, okay, these, this is a very well-designed, long-lasting window. Now, the other thing I like about it is that I showed you this sash system, okay, or I mean this screen, right, where we pulled the screen out. It's actually, there's a rabbit up in here, okay, and a rabbit on the top of the, the little bead on the top of the screen, right, and then there's a little bead up, up here, and this screen actually slides into that system there, and then the little, it stays in place, but there's eye hooks inside there that you, can, that you can hook and keep it secure, right? Well, the great thing about this system, and, it, and if you look historically at the magazines, up in the north, uh, in colder weather climates where they had this problem, they'd actually make a storm sash. And so this storm sash would, would be fit 
and designed to fit in the exact same place. So it goes in place, and in the winter, right, you would put your storm sash on, and in the summer you'd put your screens on, right? So this system was designed to create a very energy efficient window, right? This, in my opinion, is more energy efficient than a window, say, with, with insulated glass. Because in this case, you've now got four inches of insulation from the outside of the sash to, the, to the, the glass there versus a quarter of an inch, right? And so it's a, it's a very good system that way to create a very energy efficient window. What you would do is you'd find that they would have these things stamped on the side, window 102. This one isn't stamped. And then you'd have your window at the house so that you, you would take off your storm sash in the spring, right? You go put them in their basement. Um, you take your, your screens out, you clean them up, and then put them in. You have your screens for the summer, right? And then in the early fall. And then you change them out. So it's a system of how, uh, it's probably too much maintenance for, for a lot of our clients, but it, but it is a system that works. That's very energy efficient, and that is, uh, well, it, it's awesome, right? So <clears throat> this, I, I want to show you the difference too, and I'll just spin this thing around, because we're on the outside, right? This is the brick mold. We're on the outside of the window. I'm going to spin this thing around and we'll look at the inside details and how that works. So basically our trim would run right here. And I want to show you a couple features on an, on an interior of a historic window that, that kind of makes it a little bit more kick-ass. First thing is, is that see this outside sash is kind of shaking. And if you have old windows and you, and, you, know, you say they don't perform very well, part of the reason is because of that shake. Notice this window has weather stripping, and I can't, this one needs to be quiet, I can't even move this, right? Can't, I can't make, it, make any noise or anything else because of this weather stripping inside. We're showing two different types of weather stripping. This is a grooved weather stripping here, and then there's a sprung weather stripping over there, okay? The sprung weather stripping I don't like as much. There's not as much historic precedent for. This one actually is a groove that fits inside your sash, right, and really creates a sash that doesn't move very much and it won't rattle, right, there's not much movement. The other great thing is that there is a movable stop, an interior stop with these screw, screws right here. Basically what's happened, there's a little elongated hole right behind that screw head that if, the, if there's a rainy season and things start swelling, you can't move your window, you adjust these and loosen a little bit, and this sash can move up and down much more easily. But here's a way to make your sash completely tight, right, with this adjustable shot stop in the weather stripping that allows it to hit that grade 40 standard. So again, just showing you the difference of, you know, what weather stripping can do, how it can improve the window. But you're really talking about a great system here. And if you have historic windows and you think, well, um, we're really going to help the energy efficiency of our house. We're going to take them out and put all new windows in. Um, the likelihood of you ever regaining that money back, okay, ever taking that system out and seeing it on your energy bills is just crazy, right? Um, studies have been done and it takes between 40 and 110 years, depending on which climate you're in, right? So it doesn't make a lot of sense to change out your windows. We restore these things all the time for historic buildings and everything else because it's a much more efficient way to go, right? It's much more sustainable. It's much, much greener rather than throwing things in the dumpster, right? Actually taking and restoring and repairing these things because it's an excellent system, right? It's a system that's worked, that's been proven to work over 100 years. Anyway, that's an historic double hung window. That's how it works. I think it's a great system. Please keep them if you've got them in your house. And if you want to create a great look for a new house, like the new old house, then putting in double hung windows like this is just awesome. Hey, thanks guys for uh, following and watching. I love sharing these great historic facts of building and, and millwork. Um, follow me on Instagram, whole building, whole millwork, and we'll look for you next time on the Build Show Network.